State University. I got into shooting uh, when I was 11 years old through the local 4-H program and through that I just uh, grew a love for it and it eventually led me to the collegiate game. It's opened a lot of doors for me. Um, I've met a lot of great people, a lot of great friends, great relationships and it's uh, opened doors for me to continue uh, with a job in the shooting world. My name is Dakota Adams. I'm from West Des Moines, Iowa. We both shoot for Lindenwood University out of St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> um, I started shooting when I was in eighth grade and it really means a lot to me. I've hunted and fished all my life, so I've been around shooting my whole life. And it's just awesome being able to meet a whole lot of new people and travel around the country. My name is Michael Blazik. I'm from um, Alta, Illinois. I shoot for Lindenwood, and uh, I started shooting when I was a sophomore in high school. And probably my favorite thing about shotgun sports is meeting new people. And, like, I'm Matthew Dorland. I shoot for the Iowa Western Shooting Sports Team. I started shooting when 
I was about 12 and I just started doing trap shooting. Uh, the most fun for me is trying all the new different disciplines because having only ever shot trap for about six years, this is all brand new and all kinds of fun. Hi, my name is Cheyenne Brunheber. I'm from Augusta, Kansas. I shoot for Wichita State University. I started sporting clays when I was 14 years old and really the most thing I can uh, I get from this is learn to think for myself and uh, I guess my attitude has gotten a lot better because you you can't uh, you can't get mad after you miss. <laughs> Hi my name is Hunter Yaya and I shoot for Wichita State University. I just started shooting about four months ago so I'm honestly pretty new at it. It, it took me a few months to get used to my new gun and I mean it's just really like what I get out out of it mostly is like you meet a lot of good people if, if anything like it helps I'm a duck hunter usually so it helps me get out there and shoot ducks or dove even and I don't know I just have a great time when I'm out here I learn something new every time and just the people you meet everybody is everybody's so nice and it's just it's just a good time being out here. Well, thanks everybody for sticking around. Um, hopefully you had a good day shooting, especially this afternoon. We'll do this quickly so you can all get on your way home. We're gonna start with the open Thank division. You. Thank you guys oh, for all the work. Yes, one more time, a big round of applause for everybody that worked out here. Thank you, Justin and crew. Okay, in the open division, Sporting Clays, third place was Damian Giles with an 87. They're already ready to head out. There they go. Second place, Rex Etcher with an 87. Is Rex still here? Yes, sir. Come on up, Rex. Um, somebody, Keegan, come here. <laughs> this was Sporting Clays. Sporting Clays. There you go. Would you like to present that to Rex? You're the presenter today. And first place, Tim, as soon as they get them all. Okay. First place was Tim Donahue with an 88. He's gone. Okay. And first place ladies, Emily Steenbach with an 80. You can take them with these two together. They like Come here. Come on. Come on, Emily. Good job. Okay. On super Emily. 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 Picture. No. <laughs> In super sporting, third place was Emily Hurd, or Emily Hurd. Phil Hurd with an 86. Is he still here? Okay. Second's Damian Giles with an 87, and first was Scott Etcher with an 89. Give him a hand. First place, super sporty. Emily, come back. And Emily was also first place, super sporty. 86. Please. Congratulations. Okay, the combined sporting, super sporting and open, Rex Etcher was second with a 169. And we don't have a trophy for that, but you will get whatever Justin promised. And Damien was first, Damien Giles from Lindenwood, a 174. He got first place. 
congratulations. And then first place combined ladies, Emily Steenbach with a 166. I don't have Put something down. I can't. Now, Damien, I keep the money. Damien left. Okay. Do you want to hold them? Yeah, I'll hold them. No. Okay, in the college, in the college division, starting with sporting clays, uh, third place, Jenny Schinnecker with an 85. Come on up. Second was Heather Gordon with an 87. And then first was Olivia Stecker from Lindenwood with a 90. Okay, and the, the men's division sporting clays, uh, third place was Cody Eskret with a 96. Second was Jake Whipple with a 97. And first place in sporting clays was Austin Svoboda with a 98. Good shoot, guys. If that's too bright, they can turn it in your direction. Oh, I'm seeing it. Okay, super sporting. Third place in ladies was Olivia Stecker with a an 84. Second place in ladies super sporting was Jenny Schinnecker with an 85. And first place in super sporting was Katie Detman with an 86. In the men's super sporting, after the shoot off, Riley Ross was third with 92. Cody Eskrit was second with 92. And Austin Svoboda, first place with a 97. Okay, then when we did combined events for the team totals, we took the top five combined scores. So fifth place was Wichita State, and I think they left. They just had their two shooters. Fourth place is NCTA, Dave, Trevor, Angela, Kaylee, Kaylee. Did they leave too? Okay. Third place, uh, Iowa Western Community College, Bailey, Jacob, Ryan, Weston, Lucas, with a 740. Yeah, there should be five. Did I not say five? Mm -hmm. Bailey, Jacob, Ryan, Weston, Lucas. There, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, second place was Lindenwood, Sean, Brennan, Casey, Austin, Michael, and Olivia tied for the fifth spot with an 893. And first place team, uh, Fort Hayes, the top five scores were Austin, Cody, Jake, Wyatt, and Cordell with a 935. Five would come up. Yeah, that should have been Emily. Did she not take it? Emily, did you not take your bag? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. HOA female high overall with 174 was Olivia Stecker from Lindenwood. She already has her bag. And the HOA male was Austin Svoboda with a 195 out of 200. All of the scores and the awards are listed on the link that you've got. So I don't know that we'll send anything different out, but if you do find any kind of errors, let us know. Hopefully you would have noticed them before now. But thanks again for coming. Have a safe trip home, and we hope to see everybody in Texas in about a week and a half. Again, thanks to people with the brains. They did a ton of work on this thing in four or five days. So, give them a big